Okay, so here's the normal way I always removed background. I used Photoshop, opened the image in Photoshop, and especially with Photoshop 2020 or later, you have this option called Object Selection Tool. I just selected that and just drew a rectangle around my subject, and then you see these marching ants around that subject. That means that section is selected. So now if I right click over here, I could click layer via copy. And just like that, it's made the cut for me. And if I go over here, I have two different layers and I turn one off. There you go. I just removed the background using Photoshop. And this gives you an incredible amount of control, which I haven't shown you yet, but select a mask gives you this whole menu of really refining that selection. And I have a totally different video on how to do this with Photoshop. But I really wanted to make this video to show you this new option that is really simple for everyday people. So let me go to Google Chrome here and I'll put a link in the description for this one. It's called remove.bg and all you have to do on this website is upload your image and it's uploading the image here and in just a few seconds, look at that, it just removed the background for me. I didn't do anything. So if you don't know Photoshop or if you don't wanna learn Photoshop and you just want to remove a background for something, this is the way to go. And check this out. If I press edit now, I could actually put whatever I want in the background using this upload option, or I could just go to the color tab and I could change it to one of these color backgrounds like this gray one, for example. So from a beach picture here that wasn't quite professional to a nice looking headshot for LinkedIn, for example, just like that using this platform. And I could go ahead and press download here and download that image right into my computer. It also has all these different built-in backgrounds that you could go ahead and try out here or upload your own. And it's that easy to remove backgrounds on Mac or PC.